Clockstep Multi excels at being a master clock. With it, you can drive a MIDI clock, control voltage triggers, and audio pulses. It can also follow either an external MIDI clock or external audio pulses, which means you have the ability to sync it to a DAW using what's called Sample Accurate Clock. When running the internal clock, Clockstep sends MIDI clock messages over DIN, TRS, and USB outputs. It activates the sync triggers. And it plays click sounds from the line output. The rates of the sync triggers are independently adjustable. To set the rate, press the sync button and choose either sync 1 or sync 2. You'll see a list of choices for that output. The highest choice is 24 ppqn and the lowest choice is a very slow 1 ppm or pulse per measure. What if you already have a MIDI clock signal and you'd like to use that along with Clockstep's other features? Clockstep doesn't mind giving the control over to another MIDI clock. The clock button lights up white when it's following an external clock. It also responds to incoming start, stop, and continue commands as well, but that's a topic for another video. The other external clock option is to follow what's known as Sample Accurate Clock. This is simply an audio source with short pulses spaced at 64th note triplet intervals, which is equal to 24 ppqn. For this feature to work with a DAW, the first thing you need is an audio track striped with the pulses. This is easy to do with most DAWs using features like Snap to Grid and Copy Paste. Here I've downloaded the single pulse file from our website and then engaged Snap for the 64th note triplets. I paste that file to fill up one quarter note worth of track. Then I change the snap level to quarter notes, select all the clips, and copy and paste them into the space for the next quarter note. I just keep doing that, and as I make each new copy, the length of the track increases exponentially. Then assign that track's output to a dedicated line out of my audio interface and send that into Clockstep Multi's line in. As you can see in here, Clockstep is already responding to the signal. And in this way, changing tempo or creating tempo maps is also doable. Another option is using a plugin that generates the audio pulses. The only requirement is that the plugin sends plain vanilla pulses at 24 ppqn. Here's an example using the excellent ERM multi clock plugin available from their website.
And here's the Machina sequencer sending the pulses. And if you find for some reason that Clockstep Multi isn't responding to the audio signal, then the chances are it just needs to be calibrated. There's an auto calibration routine that shows the highest peak detected is a green light, and the noise floor is a red light. Just make the setting anywhere between the red and the green lights. The blue light shows the recommended setting given the current input.